Hello everyone and welcome to Big House Town TV. Today we're going to be talking about an area of the club that quite a lot of people probably won't know too much about uh, and that's our junior section. And to go through all the junior sections um, and to discuss that area of the football club, I'm delighted to be joined by Head of Youth Football and Big House Town legend, as people know him by, and that's Mark Booth. Booth, how are we doing? All right, thanks, Dave. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, pal. So like I mentioned, uh, you are the Head of Youth Football and the junior section is something that is quite new to the football club. Do you want to kind of explain the junior sections that we've got going at the football club? Yes, we have got, it's predominantly late at girls. So we've got an under sevens, two under twelves teams and under fourteens. And then flipping over to elite boys, we've got an under sixteens as well. Um, so that, that's, that makes it the junior section. Excellent. And in terms of the coach that we've got at the club, uh, we've managed to bring in uh, Mark Ellis for the under sixteens. But in the girls section, we've got the likes of uh, Dobbe, Emma Dobson and Chris Allen. How key yeah. are, are those people in bringing junior football down to Brigham's Town Football Club? They, they, uh, I, I, I would think they're the, some of the best junior coaches about, to be honest. I, they're absolutely fantastic. I'm really impressed with Mark. He's coming early, he's coming recently. Um, I played with Mark at the start mm -hmm. and at Brigham's Town. He's coming in at the ground running. Um, he knows a lot of the lads. That was one of the decisions um, because we were late entering into the league. And one of the decisions was, you know, give you know, let Mark have a go because because of his contacts and he knew people at the club. That was the right decision, also, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. We've got some great coaches, Dobbe, um, Phil, Mark, who loves the under sevens, and bags of enthusiasm. Um, so they're really good, strong bunch of coaches that I'm, you know, really, really pleased with. Massive asset to the club. Yeah, excellent. How important is it that we managed to get those junior sections to fall under the Brighouse Town Football Club brand? Yeah, well, I think I think I don't think we've seen the full potential of it yet. I think going forward, we will do in the future seasons and years to come. I think the coming board now under the umbrella of the main club. Um, you know, we've seen a little bit of it. I've seen enough potential to know that it's going to be a massive uh, asset to Big House Town. Parents getting involved uh, with the clubhouse when we renovate the clubhouse during the summer and the things we've done. Uh, I'm just buying into the whole ethos without really with COVID going on, without really the, the platform to be able to fully integrate them as we want to do. Um, and, and they'll see a very different Brighouse town, if you know, once we come out of this situation, they'll see a very different Brighouse town and the things that we want to do to, to bring the juniors more on board and more in line with the, the senior club, the men's senior club. Yeah, excellent. Just touching on the, the under 16 lads, obviously they fall just below uh, Wardy's academy side. Um, yes, also, that's right they'll go into the under 17s next year and beyond. But how key is that relationship between yourselves, uh, Mark Ellis and Wardy in terms of trying to integrate the lads to potentially play in that academy yeah, side? Ward, yeah, Ward is slightly different because Ward is an MPA and that's a full-time academy. Um, whereas some of these kids will go on to play for university or go on to education or go on to other other areas or apprenticeships. They may not. So it wasn't done with a wasn't done with the intention of feeding into to, uh, Simon's team. It was done with the intention of uh, building it up over the next three to four years and introducing another couple of teams into that structure and getting them slightly older. Um, and then if some do want to go into Simon's teams, that's absolutely fine, but it's not, wasn't recruited or set up with the purpose of it going to in the MPL Academy. Um, that's just the fringe benefit of it may or may not happen. Excellent. This is obviously a new role to yourself, Boove, um, before you was assistant manager. Um, how are you finding this new role yourself? Has it been a challenge for you or have you, have you well, quite enjoyed it? Honest, it was a role I never really wanted. It's, um, it came about a couple of years ago when um, I, thought, I think I retired from the first team about four years ago now, three years maybe. And um, the kids were getting older. My wife, Rachel, she's got a big job. So it just seemed like the right time. I always knew I'd be going to the committee and do the maintenance around the ground and things like that. So um, Robert asked me to get involved with the juniors and the ladies what they didn't help them out and it, it became apparent they needed a bit more help and uh, I was at the dining room table and it said so that well, you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get put your toe in the water and help them out um, I'm thoroughly really glad I did now looking back on it I really really enjoy my time with the kids the juniors they're a fantastic bunch the coaches the parents um, and I'm thoroughly enjoying the role uh, and um, you know we're surrounded by good people James Jason Costello um, you know, Pat mm -hmm. put on top of really bought into it, and uh, it's just it's going to be a massive success story for Big House Town. That I have absolutely no doubt about. Excellent. And what's kind of the future for the junior section of Big House Town Football Club? And uh, is there any certain dates or any certain years that we are looking to try to add some more junior sections to the club? 
No, I'm open to suggestions straight away for people that want to come under the Big House Town banner by a full team, um, you know, an established team now that's not quite happy where they are or something changes. I'm, I'd quite happily look at that. Um, we do have a plan in place where we will introduce another team every year in the academy for the next couple of years. Um, we've already expressed interest now in the Junior Premier League that we will um, move the 16s up to 17s or 18s. That decision is yet to be made. And then we will bring in, we will keep the under 16s as well. So we're in the process then of bringing in another team. So um, yeah, in the short term, there'll be at least one more team next season under the Big House Town banner. And if, they, if, if somebody approached me and said they wanted to bring another team under the banner, we would look at that on an individual merit and that may well or may not happen. Um, yeah, next year. In, the short, in the in the medium long term, and then the sevens girls are getting are getting slightly older, so we may look look at that that situation as well. Yeah, excellent. And just finally, um, how important have the likes of Bill and James Howard been in terms of getting the junior section up and running? Yeah, I mean, Bill Bill Bill's got enough on with the, with his first team play, but whenever I bounce any ideas off him, he's great. He's Bill. He'll come back to me and say, "Yeah, but ultimately you're running with this. It's what you want." But he'll, he'll always there for a bit of guidance if you think, "Oh, just bounce ideas off him." Um, but you know, and I think in pre-season, one of the under 16s had turned up to for a training session. Bill had lost a centre half, and he, he played this young lad for for 45 minutes, I believe. So this kid turned up to think he was going to under 16s training, and ended up playing in a pre-season friendly for the first team. And I mean, that it doesn't get any better than that. If you want to buy into the process of we're trying to say to these young lads, you know, this is where you this is where you are now. And in four years' time, we want you to be knocking on the door of the first team. For a first team manager that's going to back a kid and throw him in, albeit a friendly, but throw him in for half an hour, 45 minutes, that that you know, that takes there's no more words to explain that. The fact that the manager will do that for you, that is just an absolutely superb position to be in. And these young lads will only benefit from that going forward. Um, James is brilliant. James is absolutely fantastic. James is just what we needed at the right time at Brighouse Town. The committee attended has all been. We've all played together. We're all, you know, we're, we're all cut from the same cloth to a degree. Um, and we needed somebody that come in and actually said, well, you know, challenge the norm, break the mould. Why can't we do this and why can't we do that? Well, let's look at it in a different way. And, and, and to be fair, James has done that and it's a massive success. We'd probably never have done the bar without James and done all the work to the bar. Introduced Sky TV, changed the, the, the you know the kitchen around, uh, got the massive TVs in. That just in normal times are going to be a, be a massive success to bring out the town. Nice one, Mark. Thanks for joining us and hopefully we can get junior football back up and running in the near future. As soon as we can, Damo. Take care.